place for everything on our island. You're watching Fios One News. It's 7 o'clock. Making headlines at 7 o'clock, a man is dead after barricading himself inside a Suffolk County church. The latest on where the investigation stands at this hour. Plus, the mercury soaring today, and everyone wanted to get a chance to catch some rays. How people enjoyed this preview of summer at the boardwalk. And it's college graduation season. The encouraging words Michael J. Fox had for grads at Stony Brook University. The news starts right now. Files 1 News, Evening Edition. Hello, I'm Mike Gilliam. Welcome to Files 1 News, Evening Edition. Thank you for watching. We'll get to our top stories in just a moment, but first at 7, it's time for your Weather on the Ones. Meteorologist Joe Rails in the Files 1 Weather Center with more. Joe. Mike, another record-breaking day today in parts of Long Island. Look at this ice slip, 89 degrees, breaking the old record of 87, set back in 1998. LaGuardia tied a record at 95. It's been an incredible run of hot temperatures, but it's coming to an end now. We're looking for cooler conditions. Satellite radar composite showing some renegade thunderstorm and shower activity crossing parts of our area. They'll be gone by sundown. More clouds late. A lovely day on Saturday, much cooler, less humid. More clouds on Sunday. Break out the umbrella. We're going to need it on Monday. Thanks, Joe. Now to our top story tonight. A man is dead after a standoff at a Suffolk County church where that suspect had barricaded himself inside. Files 1 Cecilia Dowd has the latest tonight from Center Mariches. For hours, police swarmed the Center Mariches neighborhood because of a man who holed himself up inside St. John the Evangelist Church. That man, police say, is dead of an apparent suicide. One officer is lucky to be alive. Uh, one of our officers who's, who's here, here with me uh, right now was met by the suspect. Uh, the suspect threw gasoline uh, towards the officer and threw a match and attempted uh, to, to light a fire, which, which he did. Uh, the officer, fortunately, uh, is safe uh, and, and, and unharmed. Police arrived on scene at the Montauk Highway Church following a 911 call from an off-duty NYPD cop who said he saw a man try to light a vehicle on fire in the parking lot of the church and then enter the church. Our officers immediately observed uh, incendiary devices what appeared to be incendiary devices, including propane tanks, uh, at that front entrance. Earlier in the afternoon, as the scene was unfolding, neighbors were shocked to see the amount of police in their neighborhood. This is insane. This, for something like this to happen in a town like this, is just mind blowing. This town has always been quiet, and nothing major really happens here. And to have something like this happen, that's why there's so many people out watching what's happening because, like I said, Nothing like this usually happens out here. We're a little town. This doesn't happen here, you know? I mean, bank robberies, yeah. That's what I thought it was. I thought it was just a bank robbery. Again, police say the suspect is dead, and police say they have no reason to believe that anybody else is inside the church. Now, into early evening, police were still searching inside the church for any possible explosive devices. Police say they know who the suspect is, but they have not yet identified him to us. Reporting from Center Marich's Cecilia Dowd, Fios 1 News. Now to Congressman Anthony Weiner pleading guilty to exchanging sexually explicit text with a 15-year-old girl. The Democrat crying inside a New York City courtroom earlier today where he apologized for his behavior and said that he had destroyed his life's dream in public service. Weiner pleaded guilty to a single count of transmitting sexual material to a minor. He could face up to 10 years in prison, but prosecutors are asking for a sentence of 21 to 27 months and that he'd be required to register as a sex offender. The final decision will rest with the judge, who could give Weiner no prison time at all when he's sentenced in September. And tonight, there are multiple reports that Weiner's wife, Uma Abedin, who served as a top aide to former presidential candidate Hillary Clinton, has filed for divorce from Weiner. The couple has been married since 2010. The latest now on the Times Square tragedy that left a teen dead and nearly two dozen people injured. Today, suspect Richard Rojas appeared in court as we learn new information about him and new details about the incident itself. Files One's Carla Bargurena has more. Richard Rojas appeared in court Friday just about 24 hours after police say he deliberately pulled a U-turn in Times Square and started plowing down pedestrians. He waited for those cars to pass and he accelerated, striking down these pedestrians. That goes to a state of mind and his motivation. Surveillance video now piecing together a timeline. 
Investigators say Rojas left his house at 1030 and drove straight to Times Square. 18 year old Alyssa Elman and her 13 year old sister among the first victims. Alyssa did not survive. Her sister now in the hospital with a collapsed lung. The screaming and hearing the, uh, the, uh, the engine revving and it was just all so quick because before screams, the revving and then the impact. Witnesses describing him as crazed. He told police he smoked marijuana laced with PCP. Extra concrete barricades are now in place on several blocks where police say Rojas kept accelerating until he crashed. He actually goes underneath the scaffold. Parts of his car, the uh, side view mirror, license plates are falling off as he's striking these pedestrians. People are being dragged. They're on top of the car. In court today, Rojas did not enter a plea and he's being held without bail. Carla Barrierena, Fios One News. We now know the name of the man killed in the deadly crash on a Suffolk County highway. 52-year-old Constantino Tejada of Copeg was killed when a Toyota Camry hit him on Sunrise Highway last night around 9.15. Police say 18-year-old Luis Guzman Hernandez hit Tejada as he was crossing the street pushing a shopping cart. Tejada was taken to Good Samaritan Hospital where he died. Guzman Hernandez was uninjured and received a summons for violating a learner's permit restriction. If you live in the town of Brookhaven, beware, there's a new scam that's going around and it has to do with recycling fines. It seems harmless at first, a simple letter in the mail from a group called Real Community Matters. Brookhaven officials say that letter demands that the recipient pay anywhere from $50 to $1,000 in fines for violating different waste management codes, specifically recycling. But don't fall victim. The letters are bogus. We want to encourage people not to pay these criminals a dime. We have investigators on the case. Uh, if anyone has been lured into paying, cancel your check immediately. Uh, we need to show people, and people like this, that they can't pull the wool over the eyes of the uh, astute residents of this area. The return address on the letters has been traced back to a Stony Brook UPS store. Thousands braved the heat at Stony Brook University's graduation ceremony, and a familiar face delivered words of encouragement to the new grads. You represent endless possibility. Among you may be the first human to walk on Mars, the engineer who will revolutionize the world's energy technology, the next great investigative journalist who exposes political corruption. The graduates who Michael J. Fox addressed today range in age from 19 to 65 and represent 42 states and 71 countries. And for the third straight day, we've had summer-like temperatures, and that has people flocking to the beaches across the area. Files One's Kevin Vesey has more on how people are enjoying the warm-up along the Long Beach boardwalk. It was nothing but sun, surf, and sand as beachgoers enjoyed a third straight day of summer-like warmth. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, you see how many people are out here. It's not technically, you know, the summer yet, and the beach is almost packed. It's terrific. It's beautiful. It's clear. It's dry. It's sunny, and I love it. And that included grabbing a bite with an ocean view at Riptides 11561, where we spotted Nick Rayo chowing down on a chicken taco. Well, you just want to hang out, relax, eat a little something. People watch, you know, that type of thing. Of course, not too long ago, this boardwalk and beach were covered in snow. So area residents say they're here to soak up every last drop of sun as the summer season of 2017 gets underway. It's awesome when you live so close to the water and you get to enjoy this. You know, it's one of the joys of life. There's nothing better than this. No, Long Beach is beautiful. I love it. And here's another look at everyone enjoying the beach. Now, another reason why they're extra lucky is that beach access is still free today, and it will be free until the Saturday of Memorial Day weekend. After that, it's going to cost non-residents $15 to get on that beach. Also, keep in mind that lifeguards are still not on duty, so swimming is not permitted. But you know what? That water's still pretty cold, so you probably don't want to do that anyway. We're in Long Beach. Kevin VC Fios, One News. Ah, looks good. Okay, summer just around the corner. But before you hit the marina, there are some important things boaters need to know. Details coming up next. 
News is brought to you in part by Bob's Discount Furniture. Visit us online at mybobs.com. This is our Colby sofa and love seat, only $7.99. And this is our competitors. Same look, but a whopping $17.99. Ours has contemporary flair, coordinating toss pillows, all with Bobopedic memory foam seating for extreme comfort. And of course, an untouchable value, $7.99. And this is about how much Sofa $7.99 will get you in our competitors. Dare to compare at Bob's Discount Furniture. If you're on Medicare and make less than $16,000 a year, you could save money by switching to Emblem Health. In fact, if you enroll in an Emblem Health special needs plan, you may save in three ways. Here's how. First, you could save $720 a year with a prepaid debit card you could use to pay for over-the-counter drugs. Second, you could save with $0 copays for primary care doctor visits, specialists, hospital stays, labs, and even acupuncture. And third, you could save with no monthly premiums. Plus, we'll help you apply to keep your Part B premium in your Social Security check. That's over $100 in your pocket every month. Start saving. Call Emblem Health toll-free at 1-877-444-1335. Find out exactly how much you may save by switching to Emblem Health. Call 1-877-444-1335. Adventureland, family fun. Adventureland is something for everyone. Files 1 News is brought to you by Suburban Exterminating, protecting Long Island since 1960. With spring comes very hungry insects. Call Suburban now, 631-864-6900. It's time now for a check of the forecast. Meteorologist Joe Rayos in the Files 1 Weather Center with more. Hey, Joe. Mike, a nice cool down is coming this way over the next couple of days. It's hard, it's hard for me to believe I'm saying this. Remember a week ago, we were waiting to get nice and warm out there. Remember last Saturday when temperatures barely made it above 50? And here we are now, a week later, less than a week later, I'm talking about a nice cool down. All right, well, after a record-breaking day at Islip with temperatures close to 90, tonight we'll see more clouds coming in with the weather front, and after midnight especially so. Temperatures, though, will drop into the 50s overnight. Tomorrow, it should become sunny to partly cloudy after a cloudy start. Very comfy. Temperatures tomorrow will be not in the 80s or 90s. It'll be in the 60s tomorrow to near 70. More clouds and sun on Sunday. Unseasonably cool and dry. Here we go again with that. Temperatures will be in the lower 60s and mid-60s. Tonight, the normal low is 51. You can see East Hampton. You'll be there. 56 in Port Jeff, 57 Valley Stream, 59 in Bayville. Some clouds, and again, turning coolers compared to recent nights. Sunny to partly cloudy. 60s across the board here on Long Island tomorrow. Maybe close to 70, 69 at Port Washington. As far as the three-day outlook is concerned, we're looking for more clouds on Sunday and cooler. And get that umbrella ready. You're going to need it on Monday. Well, the town of Hempstead is using this summer-like weather to make sure boaters are safe when they hit the water. Files One's Patricia Nicholas has the story. Getting out on the water is on the mind of many people at local marinas, but the Coast Guard wants to make sure that everyone is doing it safely. Boaters are required to have life jackets, a fire extinguisher, a horn or whistle, some type of visual distress signal like a flare, and proper engine ventilation on board at all times. The sea is notorious for dead zones and cell service, so we also highly recommend uh, having a marine radio along with a first aid kit and paddles or oars. With Memorial Day weekend, better known as the unofficial start of summer just a week away, the town of Hempstead supervisor Anthony Santino is offering precautions boaters should take while out enjoying our waters. She shouldn't uh, even think about uh, trying to pilot a, uh, a, a boat uh, after, uh, a, after partaking in any kind of, uh, uh, any kind of an alcoholic beverage. And uh, watch the speed. Watch the speed because the speed, uh, just as speed kills on the road, speed can kill on the waterway. The town will be offering free boat inspections right here at the West Marina from 11 to 2 p.m. this weekend. All boaters are encouraged to come out and have bay constables tell you what you may need to assure you're safe while out on the waters. No summonses will be issued as a result of these inspections. You just respect the other people out there. Go slow, take your time nice and easy, and you'll have a wonderful day on the water. This weekend's inspections should take no more than 15 minutes. 
Supervisor Santino tells us those 15 minutes are a good investment to ensure you are safe while out on the water. In Point Lookout, Patricia Nicholas, Bios One News. Five countries in eight days. President Trump sets off on his first foreign trip as commander in chief. All of the ground he'll be covering as new reports drop regarding the Russia investigation. Much more straight ahead. You're watching Fios One News, the one place for everything on our island. Is social media affecting your sleep? It's true. If you use social media before bed, you're probably not sleeping too well. To find out more from our experts at South Nassau, visit truthinmedicine.org. This message is for all Americans that owe $10,000 or more in back taxes to the IRS. Call the number on your screen now and we will contact the IRS on your behalf. Help you end wage garnishments, stop collection calls, remove tax liens, eliminate IRS and state tax penalties, and reduce the amount you owe if you qualify. Let us take the stress of back taxes and the IRS off your shoulders so you can spend time on the important things in your life, like your family or your business. If you owe more than $10,000 in back taxes, call now. Find out how we can help you. Your morning commute can be a challenge, and the evening rush even worse. Files One News real-time cutting-edge traffic technology keeps you moving across Long Island. Also, you see some rubbernecking there in the back. Files One News, only on Verizon Files TV. Files One News is brought to you by People's United Bank N.A. One team, one commitment to you. Member FDIC. Turning to politics, as President Trump departed on his first overseas trip today, new headlines tonight regarding his meeting last week with Russians at the White House. The President and First Lady departing this afternoon. First stop, Saudi Arabia, where he will address a summit of Arab and Muslim leaders on Sunday, followed by stops in Israel, the Vatican, Brussels, and Sicily. Daughter Ivanka Trump and her husband Jared Kushner are also on the trip. Now, this comes as the New York Times reports that at that meeting last week, the president told the Russians that former FBI director James Comey was crazy and a nut job and that firing him eased the pressure of the Russia investigation. The White House has not denied the report. Meanwhile, the president did not announce his pick for the FBI director's post before leaving Friday, and Press Secretary Sean Spicer said that no announcement is imminent on a replacement for James Comey. President Trump is said to be narrowing a short list of candidates. Trump had previously indicated that former Connecticut Senator and Al Gore's running mate Joe Lieberman was among his top choices. Support for Lieberman on Capitol Hill is said to be lukewarm at best. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange says that his legal team will contact U.S. and U.K. officials to resolve his legal status. This after Sweden dropped rape charges against Assange today after a seven-year investigation. British police say they still intend to arrest him on a charge of jumping bail if Assange leaves the Ecuadorian embassy in London where he's currently staying. Assange also might face charges in the U.S. for WikiLeaks' aggressive release of classified documents. Assange says America should recognize his First Amendment rights as a journalist. Volkswagen will have to fix more cars in its emission cheating scandal. VW says the fix applies to about 8,400 Passats from model years 2012 to 2014. More than 500,000 cars in the U.S. were impacted in the scandal. Meanwhile, four other automakers have agreed to pay $533 million to car owners for money lost due to that massive recall of exploding Takata airbags. Toyota, Subaru, Mazda, and BMW have reached a settlement with the owners of 15.8 million cars. That settlement still needs court approval. Coming up next on Fios One News, the New York Jets could be playing against their former quarterback, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Details on where Fitzpatrick is headed next in sports. We, we don't have a voice. We have politicians that represent us, but they don't represent us in a way where we, as the community, the residents of the community, feel like we are being looked upon as somebody who wants to be treated with respect. If we were able to have that line of communication, I do believe it would make me and my family feel a lot more comfortable with them being here. 
If you're battling addiction, it's not easy to ask for help. It's hard to admit you really need it. Call and end addiction. Call and connect with representatives from a treatment center or rehab facility. Some insurance plans help pay for the cost of treatment. Be sure to check your policy or call your agent to see if you're covered. The first step to ending addiction starts with one private and no obligation call. There are things you still need to do. The first thing is to call and end addiction. 1-800-214-6391. Let me tell you a tale. A tale of the greatest pirate known to man. On May 26th, the final adventure begins. This is where the tale ends. Pirates of the Caribbean, rated PG-13. Watch the Pirates of the Caribbean world premiere red carpet event Saturday at 11.30 a.m. on Fios 1 News. You're watching Fios 1 News, only on channels 501 and 1, only on Verizon Fios TV, the one place for everything on our island. All right, let's get a check of your forecast. For that, we toss it over to Joe Rayo. He's in the Fios 1 Weather Center. All right, a nice Canadian air mass getting ready to build on down into our area, Mike, and that'll set the stage for a nice drop in the temperature and a nice drop in the humidity as well. We've had some renegade or hit or miss shower and thunderstorm activity with the approaching cold front, but the front will be moving through during the coming hours. There you see it, and there's the haze, heat, and humidity being shoved or nudged to our south. In comes the cooler and less humid weather. You'll feel that certainly tomorrow on into Sunday, and then eventually this warm front will be moving in our direction, and that'll be pushing some wet weather in our direction too for the start of next week. Overnight tonight, a few clouds around with that front nearby. Cool, temperatures 54 in Montauk and Shirley, 59 in Glen Cove, 57 in Uniondale, 54 in Islip. Farmingdale, you should check in with a 56. For Saturday, a mixture of cloud and sun. I probably will think cloudier skies in the morning, sunnier weather trying to develop during the midday and afternoon. Temperatures tomorrow mostly in the 60s to near 70 degrees. Quite a change from recent days, huh? Let's check out the seven-day forecast. So a lovely day, a lovely spring day with temperatures near 70 on Saturday. Sunday, arriving clouds 66, and then break out the umbrella. You're going to need it on Monday, a wet start to next week. And we could have a rather copious amount of rainfall on Monday. Temperatures in the 60s. Sun will return Tuesday, and then more wet stuff for Wednesday into Thursday. And then drying out for getaway Friday, a week from today. Yeah, it's time now for sports. Files 1 Sports Director Justin Walters joins us with more. For the first time in 14 years, a Toronto Blue Jays pitcher hit a home run. The ace happens to be a Long Island native. Patch Hog Medford alum Marcus Stroman hit his first career homer last night off of Julio Tehran. The solo blast happened to be just his second career hit. Stroman was smiling from air to air as he rounded the bases and even did a little leap back into the dugout. But this game made headlines for other reasons. Atlanta did not forget Jose Batista's bat flip on Wednesday. Bat flipping is what Jose does when Toronto's losing or winning, apparently. But it comes with a price. Tehran drilled Batista in the hip in the first inning, intentional or not. Both teams received warnings after. A handful of the best lacrosse teams in the country can be seen tomorrow at Hofstra University. The home of the Pride is the host site for this year's NCAA quarterfinals. Number three, Ohio State plays Duke in the first game at noon, followed by number four, Notre Dame, and number five, Denver. Winners punch a ticket into the national semifinals, which we played at the home of the New England Patriots. Former Jet quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick does not want to retire just yet. The 12-year veteran is heading to Tampa Bay to back up Jameis Winston. This is the 34-year-old seventh different team, last year being one of his worst with the Jets. Fitzpatrick was benched twice through 17 interceptions and compiled a league-low passer rating. His reported Buccaneers deal is one year worth $3 million. The Jets play Tampa Bay on November 12th. The Mets are back at City Field tonight with hopes of ending their seven-game losing streak against the Los Angeles Angels. GM Sandy Alderson spoke before the game on the current state of the struggling Mets. Uh, well, we're obviously not where we'd like to be. Um, we've lost seven in a row. We uh, had a losing streak earlier in the season. We bounced back uh, nicely from that. Um, I expect that we'll bounce back from this one as well. If you're looking for a good sports summer read, the Press Box Revolution may be right up your alley. Rich Catino, who works here at Files 1, tackles how sports reporting has changed over the past 30 decades. 
I think basically the game is not the biggest thing anymore. It's what happens before the game, what happens off the field. Richard, who likes whom? Who doesn't like whom? Uh, I think social media's had a big impact on that. But I do think that we get more into the heart and soul of players than we ever did before. If you're interested in purchasing a copy, Katina will be holding his first book signing on Sunday at 1 p.m. at the Barnes & Noble in Stamford, Connecticut at the Mall. For Files 1 Sports, I'm Justin Walters. Well, there's more news coming up, and if you're on the go for breaking news 24-7, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You can also visit our website, files1news.com. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Just outside the walls of every house, there's a unique place. A place we've handcrafted for life's most precious moments. These moments are brought to life by only the most vibrant papers. Nicolox Hardscape products allow your backyard to become an extension of your house. Because outside of every house, there's a place we like to call home. People ask me all the time, George, what do I do with my idea for a new product? I tell them, call my friends at InventHelp. Call InventHelp today for free information. InventHelp has been providing patent referrals, preparing ideas, and submitting to companies for more than 30 years. I believe every inventor deserves the opportunity to step into the ring and take their best shot. Put InventHelp in your corner. For your free inventor's information, call 1-800-542-6610. And finally this half hour, Files One's Juliet Fernandez has a look at some of the stories that are making headlines in entertainment. The summer concert lineup is getting hotter. Billboard Hot 100's Music Festival returns to Jones Beach this August. The two-day yeah. festival at Jones Beach Theater will feature Camila Cabello, Big Sean, Major Lazer, and DJ Khaled, among others. More names are expected to drop in the coming months. The Hot 100 Fest is taking place August 19th and the 20th. Tickets go on sale Monday on LiveNation.com. Cher will officially become an icon. She's getting the Billboard Icon Award and will perform her biggest hit Believe at the Music Awards show Sunday night. It'll be her first award show performance in over 15 years. Previous icon winners include Celine Dion and Prince. And there's also a special tribute that's planned for Chris Cornell, the Soundgarden frontman who died Thursday morning at the age of 52. And that's a look at entertainment for Fios One News. I'm Juliet Fernandez. Well, that's going to do it for this half hour of Fios One News. I'm Mike Gilliam. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you see news happening, be sure to call the Fios One News tip line. The number is 855-ON-FIOS-1. That's 855-663-4671. And we want to see your photos and videos. Send them over to our website, fios1news.com. Just click on the Submit button. And while you're there, remember to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Remember, we are your local source for news, weather, and sports, so keep it right here on Files 1. We're only on Verizon.